Hey there, welcome back to another review. So today's review is for this here, a little um, sort of home surveillance camera um, from a company called EasyViz or EZVIZ. Um, this here model is the uh, EasyViz Mini Plus. Um, it's a 1080p um, sort of surveillance camera slash baby monitor slash sort of multi-purpose sort of home um, monitoring camera. Now, I've reviewed quite a lot of these here, and to be quite truthful, this one here is by far the best one that I've reviewed so far. Um, and the reason is that the quality's there, and it just works. You know, quite a lot of them uh, I've reviewed in the past. Um, you know, the app lets it down that you view the sort of the camera feed on, or the Wi-Fi range and the camera's quite poor, or there's just something about it that sort of... Um, lets it down but I have to say I've been using this here now for probably about a week and a half um, and it hasn't let me down. Part of the review I'll include some sort of footage um, and some sort of functionality of the app so if you keep stay watching them you'll see it in the second part but um, yeah it's a pretty good little camera so I'll just run through some of the functionalities here. I don't have the box I can't find it and I can't find the instruction manual but what I can say was that the instruction manual is very concise there's a QR barcode in the instruction manual and you scan that with your phone and it takes you straight to the either the iOS or the Android app stores and you can download the app and the app is pretty good. I'll show you the app in, in a wee minute. So this here is the camera. So um, it's quite compact. Um, it has a magnetic base um, as well as sort of a rubber pad for grip. Um, it is pretty grippy. Um, uh, flexibility wise, it sort of tilts. You can sort of see it probably about maybe 20 degrees um, on all sides um, except this side here which then it can tilt right down to almost 90 degrees probably about 80 degrees um, if you wanted to sort of put you know sort of look downwards so it's sort of sitting like that um, but yeah you know functionally I, I had this sitting up at about six feet um, in the corner of the room looking out over sort of two beds my son's beds as you'll probably see in the footage um, it switches seamlessly from um, sort of day, a daylight camera to a night vision camera um, and I've been using this here in a pitch black room and actually the footage you recorded is in a pitch black room so you'll see what it, what it looks like when it switches over into the sort of black and white sort of night vision mode. Um, so it, this here, the camera comes uh, just like this here on its own in the box and you also get um, this here uh, little sort of uh, adapter, a little three pin plug adapter for the UK here. Um, now I've tested this here, um, it's a 5 volt output allegedly um, and I've tested this here with this here little USB um, voltage lamp tester and it's reading a, a solid um, 4.96 volts so it's almost 5 volts and it's consistent, it doesn't change um, which is pretty good, it's pretty good quality, it's made in China but the, the output voltage is uh, very steady so I have no complaints whatsoever about that and it is actually branded EasyViz um, so yeah that's pretty good and then you also get this here um, 10 foot long um, sort of micro USB cable and this here is 24 gauge um, sort of copper wire it's uh, proof to 80 degrees Celsius and 30 volts so I mean if this here is 5 volt output um, it's a good flexible cable I think it's a silicone cable um, which is quite nice um, it's not going to go sort of rigid and stiff on you it's not going to crack um, and yeah it's 10 foot long so um, you, you know you can sort of put it um, quite a bit away from you know you sort of quite a lot of range of sort of placement if you have 10 feet worth of cable um, and if you're really stuck you could probably actually get an adapter and put a second cable onto it you know if you were sort of way way away from the plug um, the camera itself then is quite a solid little piece of kit and um, we'll just sort of wet here and see what it comes up at if I can tear my scales oh come on there we go, so we're in grams, set the camera on, and the camera is roughly about 95 grams, 94.96 grams, so it's about 95 grams, so it's quite solid um, for all the size of it. Um, this here little sort of ball joint is actually metal, sort of on metal, you can see the metal down the bottom, uh, it's quite stiff, so it holds its shape quite well, it's obviously spring loaded, um, and yes, as I said, the bottom's magnetic, so um, I'll just take these little things out of the way. Okay, so functionality wise, I have no problems with the functionality. The image quality in the daytime is brilliant and at nighttime is surprisingly good. Um, 
the two little lights come on here. Um, actually, I'll just show you here. Sorry, if you bear with me. I'll just plug it in and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we'll take our little cable and we plug it into the front. So it goes red um, and then when it's ready to sort of broadcast, when it connects the Wi-Fi signal, it goes blue. And whenever it switches into night vision mode, these two little lights come on blue as well. It's not overly intrusive, but you could actually sort of cover them over if, if it was, you know, sort of stopping your children getting to sleep or if they were sort of overly interested in it. It also has a function for two-way audio, um, which is quite, quite good. So you can actually switch it on in the app and you can actually talk into your phone and the person who's in the same room as this here um, little camera there. It's obviously picked up a, a, a Wi-Fi signal on and off. Um, but I'm not monitoring it, so it'll sort of switch between blue and red. Um, so yeah, the, the, the two-way um, audio is quite a good function, and it's quite clear too, um, except it sort of scared the life out of my sort of three-year-old when I started talking to him while I wasn't in the room. So anyway, um, really the only gripe I have about this camera, and it is a very, very good camera, um, I will buy more of these here um, because they are a great addition, and you can add sort of four or more cameras on the app uh, quite comfortably. It has a little SD card slot. It doesn't come with an SD card. Um, it has a little slot on the side um, that you can put an SD card in, in here. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's quite good. There's a little reset button on the side if you need to reset it. Uh, one of the other things I should say is it gets a bit warm. Um, it's well ventilated. There's vents on the side, the top, and this side. And the back case is a, uh, I think it's actually a metal back um, and plastic front, um, but it gets quite warm. But it's, uh, you can still, you know, if I have this on all day, I can still sort of hold my hand in the back. It's not that warm. Um, on the back of it then, it also gives the voltage and the amps used uh, and the 4.5 watts max um, and a verification code, which you need for setting up the actual um, the actual app to uh, pair with this device. And you have a QR uh, barcode on the back too to, to set it up. And obviously because this here is Wi-Fi, um, it has its own Mac code and serial number and things like that there. So, um, yeah, um, at 1080p, yes, I would say the image quality is very, very clear. Um, if it's not 1080p, it's very, very close. Um, obviously, it degrades a bit in, in sort of the dark, but, I mean, as far as it goes, the image quality in the dark is still by far the best camera I've sort of came across, um, especially for the money. I do think this here is worth the money and then some. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely probably add a couple of these here onto my network. So, uh that's sort of this but my only gripe yes as i was saying about this is the fact that the part that allows the camera to tilt the most is also the part that the cable connects into and um, so you know this is the part where you'd want the camera to sit down and by the natural sort of position the cable sits over it so you end up sort of having to tuck the cable round to the side if you're using it at a steep angle so that you don't see the cable in the wide angle lens it is quite a wide angle lens on it um, and if it's sitting, you know, there's a possibility then that you'll see the cable. So you have to sort of tuck it around and hope that it doesn't shift the camera. So that's really the only gripe. It's not a massive gripe, to be quite frank. Um, it's something that just with a bit of moving, a bit of sort of care, you can move that out of the way. Um, it's if you have it up high and you want it at quite a steep angle down, it may become an issue. Um, it could have been on the side. I sort of can't see why it wasn't in the side. Either one of the three sides that don't tilt. However, it's maybe just a bit of an oversight. It's no big deal, no major thing. So I hope you like this bit of review. And uh, if you stay tuned, I'll show you a bit of app footage next. So thanks for watching. Hey there. So this here is just a review of the app um, for the camera. The EZ Viz or EZ Viz, I imagine it's called. So um, there's the app here. So I'll just show you the functionality. So we open the app and it's version 3.2.0.1228. Okay, so we only have one camera on this network. Um, it's pitch black in this room, and there's my boys in bed. Um, if you had more cameras, they would show up in this here um, home screen. So if I hit into the camera in question, it opens up this here um, user interface. Um, so from here, um, it gives you a free trial of a cloud storage service. Um, it also then gives us the functionality to Use the audio, which is um, the sort of little uh, microphone. Take a picture or uh, record video, um, or you can change the user interface to basic. Um, what you can do here is, with your thumbs or your thumb and finger, you can um, pull your pull your thumbs apart and it zooms in, and then you can navigate around the screen. So 
you can sort of see me moving it around and uh, as I said it is pitch black in this room at the time um, so it's, it's switched on to night vision mode hence the sort of black and white usually in the daytime you can see the colors very clearly so um, you can see that I can zoom in so that's 2.4 times zoom 3.6 4 um, and there's 5 times zoom um, it goes up to 8 times zoom uh, and that's at 8 times zoom um, now my phone is orientation in portrait mode um, so we'll just zoom back out so the camera at the minute then is sitting probably about six foot off the ground um, sort of looking down the way so if I just change the orientation of the camera to um, landscape mode it puts it full screen on my phone uh, and I can do the same I can zoom in and navigate around the screen um, if I turn it back to get the functionality so now we're portrait mode again I hit the record button and you can see then at the top of the screen it starts to record um, the footage on the screen um, and it's really just a matter of then uh, how big the storage is on your um, phone as to how long you can record for um, so that's it and then we can hit the the button and as you can see then we can take a uh, a video there's some of the ones and uh, I've taken previously um, yeah and it's a very good app um, I can hit back and as I said if we had more cameras um, on our network they would show up here and we can scroll between them and activate whichever camera we want um, so yeah functionality wise I can't complain there's nothing that annoys me about the app it works well this is Android uh, my wife has it on her iPhone and it works exactly the same on both um, yeah quite seamless user interface so overall I'm happy enough with the uh, with the app